Well, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever in the world you may be tuning in from. I'm very happy, honored, and grateful to be connecting with you today. It is January 3rd. It's 9 a.m. here in Hawaii, and I'm not sure what time it is where you're at, but it's probably a little bit later than what it is here in Hawaii. We were actually one of the last to celebrate New Year's. And thank you for joining my live stream today. <clears throat> today I'm going to be focusing on spiritual practices for the lungs, uh, including conditions of asthma and breathing conditions. There are actually quite a few uh, spiritual practices that people are entirely unaware of that can assist them with clearing blockages for this very difficult condition. Um, I personally have had breathing issues the majority of my life I, but actually for me it started uh, more in the um, teenage years didn't didn't have issues as a child I had allergy issues but did not have breathing issues <clears throat> and so um, I decided to uh, do a lot of different things to resolve the problem it became progressively worse when I started uh, ingesting too many toxins in my body this was around age 20, 22, started drinking too much alcohol. Of course, that left my body about 10, 15 years ago, but it still uh, has a variable, and I'm sure it does for most of us. There's other toxins, which include the ones in the air, and other variables you'll learn today regarding how different things impact our lungs. So today we're going to be focusing on some spiritual practices. Now, also today, I will be delivering some um, transmissions for those that decide to stick around. <clears throat> These transmissions are called downloads, and they are going to be very specific to assisting those that have um, breathing issues, lung issues. Uh, so this will help them as well. So I'm very grateful to my teacher, Master Shah, who uh, has put those downloads in his books that I can transmit them to you. So I hope you stick around. It will be very valuable. For those that are just tuning in, maybe don't have the time to stick around, but this is interesting to you, uh, do hit the like and share button and uh, also um, subscribe. And then that way you can always come back to my live stream and you'll also be notified when I go live. <clears throat> Having done this live stream for uh, over two years now and also with my assistant, Kristen Rojas, um, it's been a, a huge honor. Literally thousands of people have received the wisdom of Dr. and Master Shah. And this uh, platform, Facebook's platform of live stream, has allowed me to deliver this wisdom to you guys um, free of charge, which is a great feature because we want to be able to get this wisdom out there as much as possible. <clears throat> so I'm going to pause for a moment, acknowledge who has joined us here today. So welcome. Uh, Sarah MacArthur, Aloha Margaret, welcome Carol, Aloha Jorge, welcome also to, let's see if I can say this name right, Burjul, Burjul, welcome Samba, welcome Carmel, Aloha Kristen, thank you for your service, welcome Don Brown, Aloha and welcome Bella Grace, and welcome also to Seti, uh, Aloha Rose, Welcome, Mark. Welcome, Dan. Aloha, Richie. Welcome also to Mercedes Ortega. Welcome, Archana. And welcome, Simi. Aloha, Regina. And thank you all for joining. If I missed your name, please forgive me. Thank you for coming and welcome. Also, thank you for sharing. There might be friends you have that have um, conditions, breathing conditions, asthma, lung conditions. This could be very valuable for them. So I hope you share. So while Facebook is gathering some more people, let's go ahead and connect as I always do. <clears throat> and we're going to use the four power technique, which if you're unfamiliar with that, is the application of body power, sound power, mind power, and most importantly, soul power. And body power is a hand mudra position where we place our hands in a prayer position, which is perfectly fine if you wish to leave them there. The other hand mudra position that we use is called the soul light, soul service hand position, where the left hand drops in front of the heart center. When we close our eyes and we connect, 
and we visualize light coming into our heart center, which is the creative visualization. And the sound power is the chanting of love, peace, and harmony. But prior to that, we apply soul power, which is asking all of the beings of light to join us. So let us do that first. Dear our beloved divine creator, by whatever name you go by in any culture, God, Allah, doesn't matter. We love you. We honor you. We deeply respect you. We invite you to please come at this time, to come to sit in each of our hearts, further bless and awaken us. Please bless our practices today and help us to further comprehend and understand the nature and power and significance of these practices for the lungs condition of asthma. I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul of all the beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including all the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascendant masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Amitofu, Buddha, Kuan Yin, happy Buddha, beloved Mohammed, Krishna, Vishnu, Ganesha, and more beings of light. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all. And invite you to be present at this time to serve in whatever way is most appropriate and as we do practices for releasing blockages in the lungs we ask for your additional assistance in whatever way is most appropriate we are extremely grateful thank you thank you thank you dear the song of love peace and harmony love you honor you respect you please turn on as we chant the song of love peace and harmony we ask that you connect us all heart to heart soul to soul Bring us into a grounded space so that we can prepare for today's wisdom, teachings, and blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those that are unfamiliar, Love, Peace, Harmony is a mantra. It is a healing tool. And you can learn more by going to lovepeaceharmony.org. Kristen is very good. She usually posts the links. You can learn more there. Uh, if you don't know the song, close your eyes. Receive the blessing from this mantra. And if you do, please join with me to offer the blessing. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo, I, Wo, Shin, Her, Ling. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you how is a mandarin chinese word it means get well perfect complete we say thank you three times in the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us. First, thank you is to our beloved Divine Creator who has come to serve us today. Second, thank you is to all the beings of light who have come to serve us today. Third, thank you is to our own soul. And I say thank you to all of you for joining. So let me also acknowledge those who have joined us and then we'll move into today's wisdom and teachings. So uh, welcome, if I repeat your name, I just want to make sure you heard it. Welcome Richie, welcome Mercedes, welcome Archana. Welcome also to Simi. Aloha Regina. Welcome Carmel. Aloha Candy. Uh, welcome also Master Elizabeth and Aloha Jagmeet. Welcome Jody Ma <coughs> and Aloha Master Sophia. And welcome Rita Krikorian. If I missed your name, forgive me. Love you. Thank you for your presence. So today, and welcome also Griselda. Today we're going to be focusing on breathing conditions specifically lung-based breathing conditions. Now, uh, one of the things having breathing conditions my whole life that I've come to realize was a lot of mine were actually related to uh, toxicity in my body. My breathing conditions would, curiously, uh, they would 
clear up a little bit when I would eat, and then they would return. And it took me a long time to figure that out. In Eastern traditional Chinese medicine, <coughs> Eastern, Eastern traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, uh, it is well known that the large intestine and the lungs are very connected. Uh, it is not so well known that when people eat, when they ingest food, that about 30% of the blood in the body comes to the intestinal area. And it does so because it's kind of like, you know, roll call. Hey, the food's here. Please come and distribute the energy, distribute the energy in the matter, distribute the vitamins and minerals that are um, created when the food is digested, please distribute that throughout the body so that it can continue to be nourished. It's kind of like a roll call when we eat. So the blood runs there. Well, curiously enough, um, when the blood ran there, it left my lungs where the inflammation was occurring. So virtually all illness uh, boils down to sources of inflammation, whether it be a cancer, which is an inflammation of the cells, uh, and, or, or, or lungs, which is inflammation of the cells where we can't breathe and get air through. Uh, just about everything is some aspect of inflammation because when the cells uh, vibrate in perfect balance where the energy and the matter are vibrating in perfect balance, then the chi, the life force energy, can flow between the cells without any blockages. Very simple. So ideally, we want to be not inflamed. Um, but specific to the lungs, I have had breathing problems the majority of my life. Uh, so I'll give you a short story because it will lead into the practices today. Uh, when I came across Master Shah's wisdom and teaching, I had already been using inhalers and uh, steroids. I'd actually been using nasal steroids because blocked nasal passages. And that literally led to um, uh, a loss of sense of smell for about five or six years. Imagine that, walking through a field of garlic or uh, literally a fish market and not being able to smell anything. That was not so pleasant. But eventually it returned, and it returned when my lungs improved. So this is common knowledge among traditional Chinese medicine practitioners or those who studied any assets, uh, aspects of Eastern traditional medicine. The lungs are part of what's called the metal element. The metal element are what's part of five elements in traditional Chinese medicine, which include the wood element, which has associations to the liver, the fire element, which has associations to the heart, the uh, earth element, which has associations to the spleen, the metal element today, what we're talking about, which has associations to the lungs, and the water element has associations to the um, kidneys. And these elements actually work in harmony with each other. If they're in disharmony, then one organ can affect another organ. One element can affect another element. So that's a, a little more advanced. We're not going to go there today. But in terms of the metal element, it has uh, connective aspects as well. Of course, there is the lungs. And I just gave you an example of a connective element known as the large intestine, which I didn't really understand the connectivity. So when we have blockages, for example, in our digestive tract, constipation, um, the inability to process food correctly, flatulation, things of that nature, this also uh, can negatively impact our lungs. Go figure. Also, and vice versa, we can have lung-related blockages, and it can negatively impact our intestinal digestive processes. So these are part of the metal element. So they're called the paired yin and yang, uh, the, uh, yi, the um, yin element being the lungs, the yang element being the large intestine. Also directly associated, as I shared with you, is the nose, curiously enough, right? The ability to breathe through the nose, smell, and so uh, uh, this is an association as part of the metal, metal element as well. Now there is an associated emotion. Many people do not know this. But the associated emotion with the metal element and the lungs is sadness and grief. So welcome, uh, Mari Villegas. Welcome, Ravi. Uh, welcome also to Crane. And uh, welcome, Tox. Rita, aloha. Welcome, Griselda. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for sharing. Grief and sadness, huge problems with grief and sadness. A lot of people that um, have loss of loved ones, 
or even uh, having grieving about whatever's happening in their own life, <clears throat> um, this can actually impact the lungs negatively. And welcome also to Rachel. And another variable is actually the skin, right? The skin. Who would have thought the skin has association to the lungs? Also, some of you know, but some of you don't know, that the skin is considered the largest organ in the human body. It breathes. It breathes in oxygen. It breathes in sunshine. It breathes. It also exhales. It exhales our toxins. Um, and so it is an exceedingly important aspect of our overall human health. And so the skin has a direct association to the metal element. So to repeat, lungs, large intestine, nose, skin, and the emotion of grief and sadness. There are other uh, more expensive aspects of the metal element. These are the five major ones that are relevant. So not uncommonly, those that have uh, skin issues like psoriasis or um, issues of that nature, also have large intestine issues pay attention also have some kind of intestinal blockages because aspects like fungus which which is my belief you don't have to believe is what is the source of the psoriasis well funguses can build up in our intestines from improper digestive aspects these also uh, people that have these kind of conditions very commonly have lung blockages it's an interesting when you start drawing the correlations all of these connectivities so um, my skin has not fared the sunshine very well uh, the age shows on the face of my skin uh, the lighting here doesn't let you see that but it's there and so for those of all that, that have good healthy skin uh, or excuse me good healthy lungs typically their skin is very healthy very curious isn't it so this is a drawing of the correlation and the connectivity. Why am I sharing this information with you? Because the metal element is found in everything in all universes. The metal element, when brought into balance, can bring significant value to you. We're going to be doing some spiritual practice today, today for the lungs and the metal element. You also might want to look at um, applying uh, this wisdom that I've shared with you and consider checking in with uh, acupuncturists or TCM doctors uh, if you have any of these conditions so that you can get a more wider array of approach to resolving the problems. Because to do things just spiritually, sure, it will work, but it's not the only thing you should apply. To do things just medically, sure, it will have some effect, but it should not be the only thing you do. We are spiritual beings in a physical body. Uh, in Master Shah's wisdom, the source of our problems uh, is rooted in our negative energies and negative memories, uh, the experiences of all time in which we may have made mistakes. Um, they reside in our energy field, the negative memories. And so if we harm another, for example, by even by an inappropriate thought, then that, of course, uh, has a a balancing effect that resides at the soul level um, and we must keep that in mind when we're addressing things if we just deal with things at the level of physical we'll have some effect but uh, based on this wisdom it's unlikely that effect will last the length of time that we desire because the root cause has not been addressed directly hence the need for spiritual practices so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift into uh, sharing some of the wisdom that we're going to be working with. Now, this is a book that Master Shah has written. This is called Dao Wan. For those of you unfamiliar, this is Master Shah. A uh, little background on him. He is a world-renowned uh, teacher. He is a world-renowned author and a world-renowned miracle healer. Uh, he has written over 20, 20, I think 24 now is the number I heard, uh, 11 of which are New York Times bestsellers and uh, four of which are number one New York Times bestsellers. So truly a remarkable feat when you think about it, to have any New York Times bestsellers is remarkable, 11 of them. Well, he must be doing something right. And so in this book, which is relatively advanced, uh, talking about Tao wisdom, he goes into the, the five elements, and he offers practices, which we will use today, and he offers downloads, which are truly extraordinary. I'll read to you in a minute what the downloads are. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to apply them. So there's a word that is that will be used today called the jin don. And the jin don is jin and don are two words in Mandarin Chinese. Jin means light, don means ball, light ball. Uh, if you've ever watched the Tai Chi or Qigong uh, master or student um, doing their art, they typically have their palms and their body movements uh, centered around the core or, or the uh, abdominal area of their body. This is where they're trying to build a light ball. So jin don should not be a foreign word to you. Uh, you may have heard it just for the first time today. And what we're going to be working with is uh, light ball energy. When you receive these transmissions, these are light ball energy transmissions. Dr. Master Shah has become uh, world famous for bringing about what could easily be termed miracle level healing uh, because he delivers blessings that release the Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. I'm not going to go into deep explanation of Shen, Qi, and Jing today. Watch my other videos. Learn more at drshaw.com. But basically, Shen, Qi, and Jing are the negative blockages, mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego, attachments, the harm that we or our ancestors have brought to others. These are blockages that reside in our energy body, and they create uh, suffering that we would like to be rid of course. So uh, Master Shah delivers transmissions and blessings that help eliminate those Shen Qi Jing blockages. Uh, people receive these uh, light balls to assist them with that process. So for those that are interested today, I will deliver these to you uh, because they have been transmitted into Master Shah's books. And as a certified master teacher, I've been given the authority to be able to deliver these uh, to those who are willing to receive. I'm going to first describe to you what a download is so that you have a little bit of a background. Now I'm on page um, XX, which is 20 for those that know Roman numerals. Um, and I'll give you a brief explanation. <clears throat> Divine soul downloads are permanent. That's a key word, permanent. Divine healing and blessing treasures for transforming your life. There is an ancient saying, if you want to know if a pear is sweet, then taste it. If you want to know if the power of a divine soul download, then you must experience it. Divine soul downloads carry divine frequency. Think about that for a second. Your frequency and my frequency are not the same, right? Yours might be higher than mine, mine might be higher than yours, but they're not the same. The frequency of a car is not the same as you and me. The frequency of a cell phone as it works is not the same as you and me. And the frequency of our beloved divine creator is not the same as you and me. So the divine's frequency of love, for example, is extraordinarily high. Imagine the divine's love frequency is just, we can't even comprehend it, so high. So the reason these jindan or light ball transmissions work is because they bring a much, much, much much higher frequency into our soul, into our energy field, if you choose to receive it. Therefore, think of it like this bottle of water here, where if you have a glass in front of you and it's filled with cold water and you start pouring hot water into it, the temperature of the water will start to change and eventually the cold water will become as hot as what you're pouring into it. And this is the same as what happens when you receive a Jindan light bulb. You ha receive the ability to transform the Shen Qi Jing negative energy blockages throughout our uh, soul body into a higher frequency, that of a divine higher frequency. Okay? So that's kind of a simple explanation for you of what is a soul download. So, uh, the book is called Dao One, Rose, T A O, Dao One. So now, I'm going to flip to the back of this book and I'm going to explain to you what will be received first if you wish to receive it and then after we receive it we will practice with these transmissions. Okay? Now I'm on page 265 of this book and it's called uh, this particular chapter is called Ling Sao Yao. Ling means soul. Sao Yao means herbs. Combined, they mean soul herbs. So I'll read what Master Shah has said in his book here so that you can have a little more understanding about it. 
For 5,000 years, the herbs of traditional Chinese medicine have served millions of people. Today, Chinese herbs are popular worldwide. They are used in almost every country. There are also Indian herbs, indigenous people's herbs, and many others. Almost every country and every culture uses their own herbs. Herbs come from nature. They carry the five elements of nature, which are wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. The five elements is a universal law. Everyone and everything consists of the five elements. A human being has five elements. So do herbs. An herb that has the nature of the wood element or the lung element, in, the, in our case, can heal the disorder of that element. Isn't that interesting? So herbs carry elemental values and they can bring balance into those same values that reside in our body. Everyone and everything has these five elements in it. Again, 5,000 year old traditional Chinese wisdom, a lot longer. It has been around on earth a lot longer than the 200 or so years, at least that America has been here. And the 100 or so years that um, pharmaceutical based medicine has been here. 5,000 years of wisdom, I think we should pay some attention to it. <clears throat> the metal element uh, in the human being includes the lungs, large intestine, nose, and skin, and the emotional body of grief and sadness. If an herb carries the uh, nature of the metal element, it can serve the metal element organs and tissues as well as grief in the emotional body. <clears throat> the important wisdom of the Tao teachings is that you can say hello. This is where rubber hits the road. This, you're about to receive, if you choose to, a very special blessing, uh, but you need to understand it, so pay attention. The important wisdom in this Tao teaching is that you can say hello to the soul, mind, and body of an herb. To do soul healing using the soul of an herb. Now, I want to tell you a story that Master Shah has relayed to us. Um, there was the bird flu, some of you remember. His teacher, Master Guo, was alive at that time. And when the bird flu came out, it hit China very hard. Master Guo uh, reviewed the uh, conditions that was causing this bird flu. Uh, and he created an herbal uh, process and used it on the people that had this condition. And it immediately worked. They were healed. The government was finding nothing else that was working. So he, he distributed it to the government. The government uh, accepted it, spread it around the country. Uh, bird flu was knocked out just like that. Not a problem. So herbs are extraordinary. Master Guo is the one that taught Master Sha about soul herbs. He understood the basic understanding that uh, everything has a soul and that the herbs can come to you to serve you. Does Jesus have a soul? Yes or no? Of course. What about Buddha? Of course. Krishna? Of course. These great beings have a soul. When we ask them to come, do they come to serve us? Yes. After your spiritual third eye is open, of course, you'll see them. But they come instantly and they serve us. So why is it any different from the soul of an herb? The answer is it isn't. It comes. A secondary story that has been shared, and I'm certainly not going to be repeating this exactly as I've heard it, but I'll give you the basic outline, is that there was significant uh, suffering. This is in a previous time. And they ran out of the herbs that was working. And so um, the spiritual teacher of that time taught people, just chant the name of this herb. And the people chanted the name of the herb 24 hours a day, and they healed also. Now, you can call that a placebo effect. Or you can recognize that the soul of the herb came to serve them. Consider it. Okay. So now that you understand, what we're doing is we're connecting to the soul of the herb. Now let me go to the transmission. <clears throat> so Master Shah has placed within his book, in fact, he's placed within at least 12 of his books, what's called Divine Transmissions. I recommend you become a little more familiar with him and his teachings. Pick up a book, any one of them. It's highly likely the wisdom will touch your soul, touch your heart. And uh, this is one of the reasons why he has so many bestsellers, because 
he doesn't write them he flows them the wisdom comes directly from the source uh, into the book so it's not coming from the monkey mind therefore it carries very high level wisdom and throughout his books he has put transmissions you can receive more than just what you would receive today if you choose to get his books um, that's up to you I'm not pushing his books just a little information if you're interested so if you wish to receive sit up straight bring your back away from the back of the chair put your feet flat on the floor if you don't wish to receive you just tell heaven not interested don't want to receive thank you very much you can always go back get the book on your own receive it when you're ready if you have a little more information it's completely up to you everybody relax who wishes to receive touch your tongue gently against the roof of your mouth prepare I'm going to connect to prepare myself prepare Dow order to all those who watch this video who wish to receive these transmissions Dow soul light herb she Chang Pu soul transplant transmission Hey, hey, hey. Pay attention. See if you notice anything. I will deliver three more transmissions. Just pay attention. For those with third eye, I would be grateful for you to write what you might see. Prepare to receive. Next. Dao order. Dao soul herb. Shi chong pu mind transplant. E Transmission. Pay attention. Notice if you feel or see anything. Dao order for those that wish to receive. Dao solar. Shi Chang Pu. Body transplant. Uh, transmission Yahoo 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 not complete yet prepare Dao order Dao soul herb Shi Chang Pu soul mind body transplants join as one uh, transmission hey ya hey ya hey ya hey ya hey ya how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. You are all very blessed. Thank you, Kristen, for posting the link in her chat for access to this book, if interested. So for those that chose to receive this, and even those that don't, you can still receive the benefit of the soul herb. This is now what's called a permanent transmission. That means you can call on it any time. Now, it's highly unlikely, being an English-speaking person, that you're not that you're going to remember the name of the actual herb. So, when you wish to call on it, simply refer to it as my transmission for metal element for healing the lungs. My transmission for the metal element for healing the lungs. You would say, dear the soul of the herbs that I received for the metal element for the lungs I love you honor you appreciate you could you please bless my lungs and metal element as I chant okay so this is an example of how you would turn it on one of the wisdoms that Master Shah has taught us is just like a light bulb uh, it doesn't work unless you turn on the switch right you have received a permanent transmission a jindan jindan again for those that came in late translates to light ball so just like any light bulb it needs to be turned on otherwise it's going to rest because every soul needs to rest you need to rest I need to rest all the souls need to rest so this herb is here to serve you turn it on you could chant divine herbs heals my lungs divine herbs heals my lungs very simple chanting okay we're going to do that in just a moment and we're also going to chant a few other sacred phrases that he has posted in his book here so let us prepare now we will use the four 
powers technique. Master Sha brought to humanity the four power technique. He was delivered to him through Master Guo. And it is body power, sound power, mind power, soul power. Body power, where we place our hands is where the life healing energy goes. In this case, over the lungs would be a good place. Also, sound power, what you chant is what you become. Divine herbs heals my lungs. What are we chanting? We're chanting that the divine herbs heals your lungs. What you chant is what you become. That is called sound power. Uh, mind power, creative visualization. When we chant, when we place our hands over our lungs, we're going to be visualizing heaven's light coming in. Remember, earlier we invited in who? Divine, Tao, Source, Creator. We invited in Jesus and Buddha and Krishna and all the beings of light. We invited in angels, healing angels, archangels. They're still with us. They are beings of light because they are unconditional servants. How do we become a being of light ourselves? We offer more service. So they are here. They will be serving us. So when I say visualize light in your lungs, how hard is that? All of these beings of light, the divine is with us. Of course. And the soul herbs are with us. Blessing, healing the lungs and the metal element. So that is the creative visualization or mind power. That's the third of the four powers. The fourth power is soul power, most important. What is soul power? Soul power is connecting to the soul of the herbs, connecting to the soul of all the beings of light with gratitude. Soul power is connecting to your lungs, which have a soul. And soul power is asking forgiveness and offering forgiveness. The most important aspect of soul power is asking and offering forgiveness. Why? Because what was the wisdom that was shared earlier? Any blockages that we have in our physical, emotional, mental, spiritual vehicle, whether sadness and grief, an aspect of the, of the uh, metal element, no matter what it is, it's a negative message. It's a message of a mistake that we or our ancestors had made in this or another time. And those mistakes do not disappear from our soul vessel. Our soul carries these mistakes and all of our pleasant choices through all lifetimes. And so in this life, if we have a suffering, such in the case of uh, breathing issues with our lungs, these negative memories, these negative messages, they reside there. And so we must ask forgiveness for all of the mistakes that we or our ancestors have made. If you do not ask forgiveness, you will have some benefits. If you do ask forgiveness from your heart, you will have far far better benefits than without asking okay so let's do that first and then we will complete with the soul power and we will start chanting a very simple mantra that everybody can reproduce okay so we'll place our hands in again either the prayer position or we drop the left hand in front of the heart which is the soul light soul service hand position and close your eyes let us connect to the source Repeat after me if comfortable. Dear my beloved divine creator, all of the beings of light who have come to offer their unconditional service today, my name is, state your name three times, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I love you, honor you, respect you. Thank you for your unconditional service to my soul and my journey. Thank you for your blessings today. For my lungs and metal elements thank you for all that you have done for me my entire life please forgive me my complaining lack of honoring and respect please bless me today to open my heart to gratitude and appreciation for all that you do for me and my loved ones please bless me today as appropriate for healing of my lungs and metal element dear the soul continue to repeat of all humanity all souls everywhere if I or my ancestors have harmed you your metal element your lungs your skin your nose your large intestine 
if I or my ancestors have brought to you conditions where you had significant grief or significant sadness. If I or my ancestors had made such serious mistakes where you or your loved ones suffered with any of these conditions, then from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. I deeply, humbly, and sincerely regret any of these kinds of mistakes. I do not remember making these kinds of mistakes. I am a good person, only wish to do good things. But I recognize the nature of spiritual debts. I recognize the nature of negative messages and negative memories that might be residing at the level of soul. And I recognize I may or my ancestors may have made some mistakes. If we have, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. I ask your unconditional forgiveness to all of the souls that have harmed me, brought significant grief and sadness into my world, harmed my skin, my lungs, tainted the air, the food, the water, to all of those that might have harmed my large intestine, nose, or any aspect of my metal element in this time and in all time, to all those that have brought these harms to me, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness and release you of any spiritual debts you may have to me. And again, I ask your forgiveness if I have harmed you. Let us move forward in love, peace, and harmony forgiving each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that is a good forgiveness practice. Now finally, we connect to the soul herbs. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of the metal element lung herbs that I have just received, I am so grateful for you. As I chant, could you please bless, heal, and balance my lungs and metal element. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what we're going to chant is soul herbs heal and balance my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and balance my lungs and metal element. This is what we're chant. I see a couple folks that came in late. Much of what we're doing now will not make much sense to you. You'll have to watch from the beginning, but please stay. You will receive some blessings. So close your eyes, place uh, at least one hand or both hands over your lungs, visualizing tremendous light coming into your lungs, radiating throughout your body to the metal element, and then repeat after me. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element with a smile. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. See the light coming into all of the different cells of your lungs, permeating, releasing, relaxing the inflammation. See the light going to your large intestine and to your skin. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. 
soul, herbs, heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Silently chant, visualizing the light, soul, herbs, heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. You may gently tap your chest, soul, herbs, heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul, herbs, heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul, herbs, heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul, herbs, heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul, herbs, heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul, herbs, heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul, Herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul, herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul, herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul, herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Soul, herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. So now, repeat after me. Dear the soul of these soul herbs, I love you. Could you please continue to heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element for the next 24 hours? After 24 hours, please rest. Thank you. Soul herbs have soul intelligence. So this is a practice. Write it down. Soul herbs heal and rejuvenate my lungs and metal element. Also write down, how do you connect? You connect, dear the divine Tao source, all the beings of light. Could you please bless my lungs and metal element while I am chanting? Thank you. Remember to do your forgiveness practice. When you do these consistently, you will release the blockages little by little by little <clears throat> we will now do another practice shang s-h-a-n-g is the mandarin chinese word that represents healing our lungs shang ya yo dao is the sound power for blessing and healing our lungs so i will chant this with you and for you and we will do additional blessing for the lungs let us begin Placing our palms over our lungs, visualizing the light, and let us chant Shang Ya Yo Dao, visualizing the light coming into our lungs. We've just asked the herbs to continue to serve us, and they will. Let us begin. Shang Ya Yo Dao, Shang Ya Yo Dao, Shang Ya Yo Dao, Shang. Ya yo dao shang 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 ya yo dao a little bit faster Shang ya yo dao, 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 shang ya yo dao 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 
上呀哟哒，上呀哟哒，上呀哟哒。好，好，好 ，Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Now that mantra you can find in Master Shaw's Dao Song Dao Dance book. So in the Dao One book, the first mantra and the transmission for the herbs. Uh, Shang Yo Dao can be found in the Dao Song Dao Dance Book. There are actually quite a few slices of wisdom that can serve us uh, that Master Shah has placed in his books, such as these spiritual practices we did today. Rita asked, What was the mantra before this? That mantra was also for blessing and healing the lungs using soul herbs, Rita, which was delivered prior to your uh, presence, or at least I think prior to your presence because I didn't see you show up until now. So if you missed that, please watch the recording of this as it will come up shortly. Now, uh, just for everybody's awareness, as a certified master teacher from Master Shah, I have received some pretty extraordinary authorities to deliver extraordinary blessings, the kind of blessings that can very positively change your health and wellness. Uh, these blessings include releasing of the Shen Qi Jing blockages, these negative uh, messages, negative memory blockages that tend to follow us our entire life. Unless we do a significant amount of practices, you can receive these. It comes with protection so that once these blockages are released, I put a light wall protection around that area of request. And then a new uh, Jindan that is specifically for that area of request. I go into more detail if you connect with me directly, but very gentle and light in, uh, in what I share here on the video. But I can tell you it is extraordinary. Personally, I have received probably at least one to 200 of these kinds of blessings from uh, Master Shah and other uh, high-level master teachers. And I now have the authority to deliver these. And I can tell you that without these, my lungs would not be clear. Today, I am much, 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 much happier. My nasal passages are clear. I can smell again. Uh, it's, uh, I can tell you that there is nothing quite like the ability to feel healthy. And uh, I encourage you to learn more about these transmission systems that can serve you uh, for any kind of health issue, emotional issues, um, many things that can serve you. Uh, you can learn more by contacting me directly. Asoulhealer.com has a uh, contact button also my email a soul healer at yahoo.com or through Facebook Messenger many different ways you can contact me thank you Kristen for posting that information and finally uh, I'll leave you on a final comment starting January 20 I will be doing uh, the fifth course uh, open your spiritual channels this will be the fifth time I've taught it it's progressively getting more and more students uh, people are starting to hear about it it's a 12-week course uh, two hours once a week but practices in the middle and um, it helps with your health it helps with your relationships it helps with just about every part of your life but it's for opening your spiritual channels which means the possibility of your third eye being more open or opening up for the first time uh, ability to connect with heaven receive messages and uh, uh, open your spiritual channels exactly what it sounds like you can learn more uh, by following the links Kristen I'm sure will post that it starts January 20 uh, don't miss it it truly is an extraordinary course it will serve you and your soul journey uh, message me if you have any questions I wish to thank you all for your presence thank you for your sharing of these live streams love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you come join me Sunday where we serve those with the condition of cancer 6 p.m. Hawaii time 8 p.m. Pacific time uh, 11 p.m. Eastern time that's going to be a little early in the morning in Europe, in the UK, 4 a.m., in Central Europe, 5 a.m. Uh, and in Australia, in the Sydney zones over there, it's not too bad. It's only about 3 p.m. So uh, in India, I believe it's a 9.30 in the morning. So I hope you're able to join me to serve those with the condition of cancer where we chant love, peace, and harmony. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you then. Bye-bye, everybody.